Hello everyone. Welcome to the part fourth of the assistant geologist and hydrogeologist examination solution that uh, has held on uh, 2nd of April 2023. So this is the fourth part where we will see the solutions of the questions from 91 to 120. And uh, we are referring to set C. So there are four sets. So in all the four sets, we are referring to set C. So, okay, so we will proceed. So the first question, uh, like from the part four, which is actually 91, is related to paleoseismicity. So they have asked, paleoseismicity is related to the study of, okay, so we will solve this. So we'll take a pen. So paleoseismicity, the four we will read for all the four options. So first is the earthquakes of the geological path through slippage observed in fields along faults, relationship between earthquake and faulting, mapping of earthquakes, and risk related to seismic activities. So according to me, the correct option should be first. Okay. As the name suggests, paleoseismicity, which I have explained here, you can see the paleo means old and seismology is the study of the earthquake. So paleoseismology is the study of old earthquakes. It is the study of the old earthquakes. And from where we will able to see? We will be able to see some past records from faulted rocks okay and with the help of some dating methods we can also be able to date these events so this para i have taken from this book Alan e muset and m aftab khan where you can see records can be extended to prehistoric times using paleo seismology through past earthquakes have left no seismograms. Though past earthquakes have left no seismograms, they have often produced faulting in unconsolidated sediments, which can be recognized in geological section. So, we have unconsolidated sediments. We have data. Okay. Apart from this, we can also take data from the records, from the consolidated rocks, which are faulted, as well as from the unconsolidated sediments. Okay. So the first, though, the first option is the correct answer. Now we'll see the 92nd question, 92 question. Consider the following statements regarding the Earth's interior. So first statement is seismic waves reveal that the average depth of the mantle is about 1300. As we know that the average depth okay, of the mental is about 2900, which is the mental and core boundary, or we also call it Gutenberg discontinuity. So you can also see this diagram here, it is mentioned 2900 kilometer. So Pella question, pella option to galat ho gaya. Dusra mein dekhte hain. Based on the seismic wave studies, the concept of solid inner core was given by in Lehman. So yes, she has given this. She is a geophysicist from Denmark. So, unhi ne diya tha ki amara jo core hai, it is being divided into two parts, which is the outer core and the inner part is the inner core. So you can see this data. I have taken from the Wikipedia. So this option is correct. So the, the sharp contrast from seismological wave velocity is below the crust what is noticed by Andrija Moravec. Moravec discontinuity as we study, okay, which demarcates the crust and the upper mantle. So what is the name of the scientist who has discovered this? So he is the uh, uh, Andrija Morovic, okay, was the Croatian geophysicist. He is best known for eponymous Morovic discontinuity and is considered one of it the founders of modern 
seismology okay so this is also a correct statement apart from this you can also see the four statement transfer waves do not propagate in the outer core and hence the material here is in fluid stage okay so we know that the s waves are we call transfer waves okay they do not travel in fluid phase okay so this statement is also correct so according to this statement so option b is correct only first option is incorrect okay 93 consider the following statements regarding richter scale so it is the first scale to estimate the size of the earthquake by instrument okay yes it is the first scale okay there are also other scales like the mercalli scale okay i will pin like the mercalli scale is there Roser Foley scale is there, so it is the correct statement. It is the first scale. Uh, if we see the second, it is based on the energy released at focus of the earthquake. Yes, you can see this uh, that uh, during faulting, earthquake is produced because of some faulting only. Okay, when there is a rupture in the rock. So if there is a rupture, okay, so you will study that. Elastic rebound theory. Okay, elastic rebound theory, where the energy stored in the rocks gets released. Okay, during the rupture, rupture one. So this is the fault. It can be a blind fall or it can continue up to the surface also. So because this is the focus and the waves released from there. Okay, so huge amount of energy is being released and propagated. Throughout the earth. So, this is the correct statement. It is based on the maximum amplitude of waves measured on a seismograph. Okay, I will clear one thing. There is one, uh, one term they have added here that will create a confusion. They have added the term amplitude and maximum amplitude. Okay, we know that uh, magnitude is nothing. But the amplitude of seismic waves. Okay. Which are T waves, S waves, uh, love waves, Rayleigh waves are also there. These two, these three are very important. Okay. Uh, primary waves, secondary waves, and love waves. But I will tell you, as you can see, this is a seismograph where the data is recorded. Okay. It is something, to, uh, something similar to that of ICG machine, you can say. So you can see uh, there's a P wave, there's a S wave, and there's a surface waves, low waves. Okay, especially low waves are there. So such waves are two types. One is Rayleigh and one is low. So this is a low wave. And the maximum amplitude that is being reported is because of this low waves. Okay, that is after some time. Okay, the P waves have arrived. So there's a time lag here. Okay, okay, so like this. This is the time. Timeline. This is the time lag here. Up कुछ समय बाद जो होता है ना, वो कुछ समय बाद हमारे P wave के कुछ समय बाद S wave आती हैं, उसके कुछ समय बाद love waves आती हैं. And the love wave, these love waves are the most destructible one. Or this causes the earthquake. But if we see about the Richter scale, so in Richter scale we use the moment magnitude. Just remember this thing, moment magnitude. Okay, there are various various magnitudes, but uh, previously uh, love wave, okay, with the surface waves, magnitude is being used. But uska reason use karne ka isle nahi tha, okay, because because after some uh, magnitude, just say about uh, magnitude 8.8, .8, it reach its saturation. Matlab uske upar wo value dena possible nahi hai usko calculate karna possible nahi, okay. That's why for large earthquakes, this surface uh, love wave magnitude, okay, that you did, surface is magnitude is not being is not good. That's why it is being replaced by moment magnitude. Okay, so you can see I've given some information regarding the moment magnitude and how it is actually calculated. So prior to calculating the moment magnitude, you have to calculate the seismic moment. Okay, which is nothing but the multiplication of rigidity modulus 
the area of the fracture uh, segment of uh, and the displacement okay and just put this m not value in here okay you will be able to calculate the m w which is with moment magnitude okay so jo bhi aaj kal ke richter scales hai wo hamare moment magnitude ke upar based hai is tarah se samajhte hain as you can see uh, okay this diagram is data okay the diagram is the data of uh, previous earthquakes okay special large previous large earthquakes so you can see uh, this ms is given which is surface wave magnitude and this is moment magnitude and you can see both having a dissimilar value okay both having a dissimilar value like for this you can see they will be treated maybe it won't be possible okay this is the recent one the sumatran one the which occurred in indian ocean okay so they haven't calculated that so only mw is being there so you can see the values differ of ms and mw apart from this there are also other like the p wave magnitude like the duration magnitude okay you can see it later in some geo good geophysics book like william lorry have mentioned these things so according to me uh, yes sorry so according to me and the fourth option also it is based on the extent of the damage so we know that it is nothing but the intensity the damage is something related to intensity what is the intensity that is reported by the mercalli scale okay so according to me the answer would be 1 and 2 okay uh 94 the velocity of the seismic waves within the earth ranges from okay we see this diagram very popular diagram which shows the velocity of seismic waves within the earth as you can see this so what you will be able to recognize from it so here they have mentioned okay i will take pen here they have mentioned the seismic wave velocity and this section is this, this axis is the depth okay as you can see uh, just take some lower values okay so as you can see here like of the so they haven't specified uh, which size we pair whether this p or s okay so we will generally take s because it has s we having a lower velocity than p okay so unne specify nahi kiya na ki kaun si wave ki baat kar rahe ho okay so we will be talking about uh, seismic waves we just considered uh, for time it is vs agar wo maximum ki baat karenge to vp ki hum baat karenge yahan par okay so we are talking the lowest lowest velocity that is being reported by s waves and the highest velocity that is being reported by the p waves okay and the lowest velocity that is being reported by the s wave is the okay near surface obviously unconsolidated sediments or sedimentary rocks and while okay the maximum p wave velocity is reported just before just uh slide before the dw which is known as the dws layer that to put in bug before the put in bug discontinuity okay so you can see the value is ranging somewhere beyond or near to 12 okay okay it is very much near to 12 and the lowest you can see 3 or it is also coming before 3 so below 3 and more than 11 so according to this the safest side is to choose this option 2 is to 13 meter per second because agar hum ye value lenge to hamara bahut choti range hai as well as iski bhi bahut choti range hai iske kyunki hum log ne क्या ओके वैल्यूज देखी हैं जो कि मोर देन टेन है ओके सो दिस इज द सेफ ऑप्शन टू चूज ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी विल सी वेयर दे हैव आस्क यू अबाउट द ऑर्डर ऑफ अवेयरनेस ऑफ डिजॉल्व सोल्स विद इन ओशन ओके सो ओशन की बात कर रहे हैं दे कैन ऑल्सो सम कैन टाइम्स दे कैन ऑल्सो आस्क अबाउट द रिवर्स लेक्स सो फॉर नाउ द टाइम बी फॉर द टाइम दे हैव आस्क अबाउट द ऑप्शंस ऑप्शंस की बात की है सो आप देखो ऑप्शंस को एंड 
uh, apart from this i have also provided you with some data about the major ions that are present in sea water okay so the cl minus is the most then na plus then so 4 minus 2 minus sorry mg2 plus Okay, Ca2 plus, K plus, and CO3 bicarbonates are there. Okay. Up. See, no one remembers this sequence of salts. Okay. Neither this data is given everywhere. But you can see this data that is given in every, you can say, sedimentology or oceanography book. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, you can do one thing. You can just make compounds from this data. If Na is the most abundant cation and Cl minus is the most abundant nion, so they can make a salt which is NaCl. Okay. So this abundance are very much uh, is based on the residence types. Okay. You can read about it this. So they are based on the residence type. Then you can see Mg is the second most abundant cation. So MgCl2. Then, this is the most abundant anion, second most abundant anion. So, MgSO4, okay. Then, CSO4, third most abundant anion. Then, K2SO4, so, now you have sequence. Ban gaya. Okay, let's see whether the sequence is present everywhere. NaCl, okay. Okay, now. Here it is shown Mg SO4. Up second, dekho. okay, okay, this may be have the probability to be correct. Up this may they up, okay, K2SO4. In second position, they have placed K2SO4, but K2SO4 up they have Ketna Kame K plus. Uske upper pali, teen cations are a K, okay, K, K plus is on the fourth position. So, who has a salt banayaka jo second most abundant is possible. Nahi. And as well as you can see this, it is on the third two. While CSO4 is, so it is like a related thing. Agar aapke element utne jada abundant hai, so obviously they will make salts that are more abundant. So it is something related to this. So according to me, the correct option would be B. Okay. Okay. So 96. Zoophycus. So this is something uh, related to, uh, okay, which we call technology okay or trace fossils okay so they have asked you about the environment and where this trace fossil we get in which particular environment okay as we know there are different different zones like the lateral zone sublateral zone okay bithyl zone epsilon zone hmm? So where we get this fossil? So I have taken this data uh, from uh, a book called Paulinson. This is a very good book for sedimentary structures. And you can see uh, this zoophycos echnophysis. Where you get this species? So zoophycos echnophysis. So these species are being formed by a, a polyshade. It is an annelida. Okay. And because of its locomotion, this trace, uh, these uh, you can say trails are formed. Okay, and this NLR usually live near the this here in this way, this C ninth where you will get nine here. This is nine. So, so ficus echnophysis you will get in the bithyl zone. It is a direct question. So, answer would be a bithyl zone. Now, you will ask that in the bithyl zone, which one is nerites, nerite faces. Okay. So you can see uh, huge data is given here. You can read about this. Clusiana faces, Coppola spaces, the right spaces. Okay. Pleolister spaces. Okay. Now we move up to the 97th question. So you can see there they have asked you the <coughs> errors that are caused by the winds. Effects. Okay. Okay, so we will see uh, this diagram first. Okay, so what happens? Like uh, you can see this path. This is the 
प्लान पाथ ऑफ अ फ्लाइट ये क्या है प्लान पाथ है प्लान पाथ ठीक है पाथ ऑफ अ एरियल सर्वे सो सो कैमरा सेंसर्स आर माउंटेड ऑन दिस एयरप्लेन सो व्हाट दे ट्राइंग टू डू दे ट्राइंग टू क्लिक द इमेजेस इन सब सीक्वेंस ओके विथ सम ओवरलैपिंग लाइक दिस and there shouldn't be any deviation aise mai jo dena chahiye with some 30 40% overlapping the side overlapping but wo kya raha hai yahan par there is a increase there is a velocity there is a wind that is being approaching the airplane from here okay so wind is like moving from here to here okay this is this is the wind direction wo kya kar rahi is plane ko apne path se deviate kar rahi hai okay because of this deviation this plane couldn't be able to click photographs in a perfect manner and there is a shift or a deviation like this so the photograph jo aayengi ab wo thoda diagonal hi aayegi is tarike se so this is we called a drift so the correct option is this apart from this if we see about skill distortion okay skill distortion is something when the airplane is moving like this and there is a variation in the flying height as well as in the surface topography so this type of distortion occurs because of that if we come to see about the radiometric distortion radiometric distortion occurs due to some uh, like uh, aerosols or some other atmospheric effects okay this is the reason of the radiometric distortion you can read it about this and if you see the uncontrolled mosaicing uncontrolled mosaicing is done as i mentioned here the work where a high degree of accuracy is not required so mosaic is, is something is like a assemblage of photographs okay hum log kya kar rahe hain dher sari photographs ko merge kar rahe hain aur usse ek continuous फोटो बना रहे हैं जो कि बहुत अच्छा रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ओके बट हम लोग कंट्रोल मोड मोजियाक बनाते हैं एंड सेकंड वी बिल्ड इज द अनकंट्रोल अनकंट्रोल तो हम लोग प्रेफर करते हैं जब हम लोग की एक्यूरेसी जो है हम कॉम्प्रोमाइज कर सकते हैं थोड़ा बहुत ओके सो हम लोग को परफेक्ट परफेक्शन नहीं चाहिए तो दिस इज द अनकंट्रोल्ड मोजियाकिंग सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ए ऑब्वियसली ड्रिफ्ट 97 का 98 देखते हैं In a GIS database, the location of meteorological station with respect to a specific land use can be identified using. Okay, this is something to geographical information system. Okay, अब क्या हुआ था ये? If you people have made some use of GIS or some other softwares related to GIS, so you can easily do this. Okay, so what they do? we will first see the uh, four options so there is option one line to polygon overlay ab isme overlay ka matlab kya hai first of all so kya hota hai if we need a certain information that has to be represented on my map that we are preparing so for example if we have to show that uh, that there is a locality okay There's a city and a city in there are three localities. Okay, like A, B, and C. So the localities are these are different different attributes. So the localities are being represented by polygons because it is a specific area. Similarly, if you have some features like a linear features like a road, rail. Okay, rail. Okay. So these are represented by a line. because of the linear features they look something like this on a map and if we have to draw uh, or place uh, you can say um, a point like thing okay like uh, you can say a uh, a shopping mall or school okay or some office or your home then we use point and like a dot Okay, this is my home. 
so if you have to place that in all the uh, in all in which of the localities like in abc which is in the city where your home lies so you have to do this thing first okay i will give some other example that you have to uh, the, um, these are different different schools like 3 1 2 they are different different schools within a locality okay within a within a city sorry within a city there are different different schools ab hame ye pata karna hai ki kaun kaun si locality mein kaun kaun se schools so we give the other other layer of information which is the polygon okay this is the polygon so a c a and b hum log ko isi cheez ko isme okay super impose karna isi information in dono information ek dusre ke upar super impose karna this is we called the overlap okay the different different types of overlay are there okay like the weighted overlay is also there so point to polygon agar aapko point plot karna hai polygon ke andar okay so the point is something any home or shopping mall or something uh, schools okay hospitals hmm, police stations so you can plot like this so ab hame ek area batana hai ki kaun kaun school this is the show ki first wala jo school tha hamara wo c area c locality mein hai सेकेंड जो स्कूल है वो हमारा ए लोकेलिटी में थर्ड वाला भी सो अब हम एक क्वेश्चन देखते हैं इन अ जीआईएस डेटाबेस द लोकेशन ऑफ द मेट्रोलॉजिकल स्टेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अ स्पेसिफिक लैंड यूज कैन बी आइडेंटिफाई यूजिंग लाइन टू पॉलीगन ओवरले आप देखो आपको एक मेट्रोलॉजिकल स्टेशन को प्लॉट करना है विद इन एन एरिया स्पेसिफिक लैंड किसी के एरिया के अंदर क्या लाइन टू पॉलीगन क्या वो लाइन ओके सो सो मेट्रोलॉजिकल इज समलर समथिंग सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ अ पॉइंट दैट इज बीइंग प्लॉटेड ऑन अ मैप So this is the we are meteorological little station. Okay, so this question is no. So it it wouldn't like uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't agar like a line. Okay, it is like a point only. Okay, polygon to polygon overlay area by area. Okay, you are giving some area and okay. You see this A B C locality and there is some uh, another uh, you can say. uh like um, what i can give an example like there some other locality or some other lake okay like a lake that covers this locality so you can see that hamara kon ye jo lake hai hamari jo lake maine draw kiya hai is pe kahan kahan aa rahi so i will take a different color like this so hamara kuch area second mein aa raha hai kuch a one mein aa raha hai yes. so this is we use a polygon to polygon so lake is also like a similar plot like a polygon because it is given dimension of the two okay point to polygon overlay so this is the most probable answer that i can think of so a point ki tarah plot hoga and that can all in the in area so this is will be a point to polygon overlay is a and line on line no nothing you are just imposing a you can say roads and uh, rails are very much near to each other okay and you can say like a canal is there and over which the road is going okay or there is a you can say rail cum road bridge that you have to plot so you can just then use the line to line overlay okay, like this so the correct option is this point in polygon overlay samajh gaya uh, if it is 99th uh question the gps satellites carry rubidium and cesium atomic clocks that usually have time accuracy of one part in so i have taken this state information from internet i couldn't be able to take it from any book because mujhe mila hi nahi kisi book mein so maine internet se liya hai where they have bata rahe hain yahan par ki they have this rubidium has a accuracy of 10 to the power 12 so if you fix is a reliable source actually and if we fix this then we have only left with one option which is fourth i am not sure about the cesium but in from some sources it is something near to this value okay some sources are showing this which is not present here but probable answer sabse most probable answer would be this okay consider the following statements statement 1 passive microwave remote sensing can help in detecting seepage zones 
स्प्रिंग्स फॉल्ट सॉइल मॉइस्चर वेरिएशन ओके तो आप देख सकते हो एक चीज कि सभी लोकेल जैसे कि सीपेज जोन हो गया स्प्रिंग हो गया सॉइल मॉइस्चर हो गया वेरिएशन ओके वेरिएशन एज वेल एज फॉल्ट सो दे समथिंग रिलेटेड वाटर एंड जहां पर वाटर स्टोर हो सकते हैं फॉल्ट बिकॉज फॉल्ट आर ऑल्सो डिसकंटिन्यूटीज ओके और ये डिसकंटिन्यूटीज बहुत ऐसे पैसेज होती है हमारी वाटर मूवमेंट के लिए ओके समथिंग लाइक फ्रैक्चर होंगी ना इसी वजह से वाटर मिल का जो सेचुरेशन होगा वो यहाँ पर थोड़ा इंक्रीज कर जाएगा ओके सो हम लोग पढ़ते हैं एक स्टेटमेंट ओके या ओके वी विल सी दिस सो दिस लाइन दिस यू कैन सी यू कैन रीड दिस लाइन दैट आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम ऑन आर पी गुप्ता आर पी गुप्ता गुप्ता नाम है यू कैन सी दे हैव मैंशन वाटर एंड वेजिटेशन हैव डायरेक्ट कॉन्सेंट सो दैट इज डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन which are very different from those of ground objects there is thus a distinct applicability for passive microwave radiometry in hydrological sciences and vegetation related disciplines in geology the scope of passive microwave sensing lies in detecting seepage zone springs faults soil moisture variation and vegetation banding etc so you can see okay both the options according to this particular para that is present in book which is i think direct question from book is correct so ye bhi correct hai hamara aur ye bhi correct hai aur dusra wala satisfy kar raha hai so the option is the correct option. <clears throat> so 101 consider the following statement regarding the specific yield of a aquifer ओके तो सिंपल सी बात है हम लोग एक्टिफर की डेफिनेशन पे जाएंगे पहले तो पहला स्टेटमेंट क्या दिया पहले पहले मैं ये रीड कर देते हैं इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर दैट आफ्टर सेचुरेशन कैन बी ड्रेव बाय ग्रेविटी टू इट्स ओन वैल्यू विल सी सी दिस इंफॉर्मेशन दैट आई टेकन फ्रॉम अ बुक और बेटर ओके सो स्पेसिफिक यूल इज द रेशियो ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर दैट ट्रेन फ्रॉम अ सेचुरेटेड रॉक Going to the attraction of gravity to the total volume of the rock. Okay, so this option is correct. Second, its value does not depend upon the grain size. Okay, but I will tell you, its value usually depends upon the grain size because specific uh, yield is very much related to porosity. Okay, specific so specific yield plus specific retention. Oh, sorry, I will write that again. Specific yield plus is to porosity okay and you can also see this information where there is a increment in the specific yield as the size is increasing okay so this is incorrect so correct option kya hoga one only okay a1 101 102 sorry the intrinsic permeability of a porous medium depends upon the size of the opening through which the fluid moves okay the shape of the opening through which the fluid moves i will tell you the size is parameter is this kitna bada size hoga this thing will take care of this is the diameter of the grains and is the diameter of the grains is increasing the size that is present okay Between the grain, also increasing. So, so hence it will increase the intrinsic permeability. Okay, noted by K subscript I. And this term, the C, is called a shape factor. Okay, so both the things are satisfied. So it depends upon size as well as the shape. Okay. Of the opening through which the fluid moves. So both two is correct. Which of the following statements regarding the total dissolved solids (TDS) and electrical conductance (EC) of the ground waters are correct? Okay. So, so we we'll read the statements. First statement is a rapid determination of the TDS can be made by measuring the EC of the ground sample. Yeah. 
it is a correct statement because in books you can see uh, and also listed one graph this i have taken from the kia current hmm, very good book for hydrology here you can see there is a direct relation of total dissolved to specific conductance okay so that is a direct question and this is it is a relation it is the proportionality constant okay so so it is a direct relation jitna tumhara conductance badhegi utna hamara tps okay and you can also see the units in which they usually represented so this statement is correct okay second the specific conductivity is measured in micro siemens yes it is measured in micro siemens i have taken this data from internet itself okay and it is a very common thing you should know this thing micro siemens per centimeter okay mu s plus upon by centimeter so this is correct third wala dekhte hain the specific conductance decreases with increase in temperature to ye line hum dekhte hain ye bhi maine care current se li hai the conductance increases with approximately 2% for each increase in temperature of 1 degree ab hum aapas kya ho gaya direct relation hai proportional ek dusre ke so a proportional aur ye keh raha hai ki ye inversely proportional hai to ye statement hamara galat ho gaya so answer would be 1 and 2 Okay. 104. Consider the following statements regarding irrigation water. Okay, some another question related to water contamination, hydrology. Okay, statement one: Sodium concentration is important for classifying irrigation water. Yes, it is a very important uh, parameter. Okay, usually we use parameter called SAR values, sodium absorption ratio, which is being represented by this. Okay. as well it is this parameter is only so really used for the agriculture studies itself okay so this is the correct statement sodium reacts with soil ab humne agar parameter diya wo bola hai ki isko padhna like this is very important thing kuch reason hoga uska so dekhte hain statement 2 kya kehta hai sodium reacts with soil to reduce its permeability and hence affects the agriculture activity yes it is a very important thing because as you can see this is called it sodium adsorption absorption and adsorption ratio ab kya hota hai clays hoti for example there are clay particles so hamara ye sodium jo hota hai na uske aas pass ja ke aise adsorb ho jata hai stick ho jata hai ab ye sodium kya hota hai sodium ions ja ke aise ho jata hai so this will what they do ab inke beech mein kya tha passage tha वाटर के मूवमेंट का वो पैसेज क्या हो गया वो क्या हो गया उसमें वो क्लॉक हो गया अब ओके वो चोक हो गया क्यों क्योंकि वहां पर सोडियम का एडजॉर्प्शन हो गया एंड दिस कॉल वी कॉल दिस टर्म इज द डिस्पर्शन ऑफ क्लेस तो यस सोडियम एडजॉर्प्शन कैन कॉज द रिडक्शन इन परमेबिलिटी हेंस इट इज वेरी हेंस द एग्रीकल्चर एक्टिविटीज आर वेरी मच इफेक्टेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस So this statement is also correct. So both statement are correct, and one, dusra jo hai, pehle wale ko chhod diya gaya. One zero five. Consider the following statements regarding aquifer composed of unconsolidated sediments. Sorry, materials. Consider the okay unconsolidated ki baat ki hai. Dekhte hain kya bol rahe hain. The resistivity increases with the degree of saturation. Okay. So as you can see, there is one uh, figure that I have shown you here. This is a very famous formula. We call it Archie's formula. Okay, we usually use in when we use electrical logs. Okay, when well logging, I have studied first first time I have studied this thing. Okay. Okay. so a r c h i e sorry i e s a c h i e s formula so you can see this is a saturation thing here there is a r t r the script 3 t so what is this this is a formation resistivity so formation something jo beds hoti hai hamari formation bola jata hai so you can see both are having a inverse relation so resistivity 
डिक्रीजेज विद द डिग्री ऑफ सेचुरेशन और हमें पता है कि अगर हमारे पास सॉल्ट अगर हम डिजोल्व कर लें सलाइन कर दें जो भी वाटर हमारा पोरोसिटी फोर्स में है अगर वो और सॉल्टी हो जाए तो क्या होगा हमारा रेजिस्टिविटी वुड आल्सो डिक्रीज इन दैट केस आल्सो सो दिस टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर नॉन सो द करेक्ट इज ओके एंड यू कैन आल्सो सी दिस डेटा where different different rocks different different sediments and concentration sediments are shown and their resistivity is mentioned ab dekho clay alluvium ke kitni kam value hai while for crystalline rocks the values are very much higher because some is something related to the saturation or the porosity 106 okay this is also very direct question from uh, remote sensing The amount of radiant flux in specific wavelengths, lambda, incident upon a surface per unit area. Okay, the incident upon a surface per unit area is one of that surface is known as. Okay, so we should familiarize ourselves by the radiation terminology. So first, we will see what is radiant energy. It is is given in joules. So what is the energy that is being received ultimately? Okay. so it is the radiant energy radiant flux of power is the radiant energy per second okay oh, sorry radiant energy per second and given in watts so it is the unit of power a radiance implies the amount of radiant energy that is incident on a horizontal on a horizontal surface of यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट टाइम तो यहाँ पर क्या हो गया रेड एनर्जी रेड एनर्जी के साथ अगर आप डिवाइड कर दो उसको टाइम से सेकंड से तो हो गया रेड इनफ्लक्स अगर आप उसको एक और पैरामीट डाल दो एरिया डाल दो यहाँ पर ओके सो वो हो गया हमारा इर रेडियंस तो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज इर रेडियंस अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेफिनेशन ओके सो दिस अ वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम आर पी गुप्ता One zero seven. Consider the following uh, statements regarding reflected light. देखते हैं ना अब. The reflected light vibrating in uh, in only one plane and is called polarized light. Simple सी बात है मैं पता है कि अगर हम वो एक plane में कर देंगे तो वो क्या हो जाता है polarized होता है. So they are having a one of motion in which the magnetic and electric vectors are perpendicular to each other. We know this thing. Okay, we use usually polarizers like in petrological microscopes. We use polarized light. And we use polarizers for uh, for doing this thing for polarization of light. Okay, so this is a correct statement. The light reflected from a water body into the field of view of a camera is polarized. Okay, in some cases because of the selective absorption of colors. Okay, when any reflected light is passed and being captured by a lens, so it is a polarized light. Okay, but it has to be at maintain at some angle. Okay, that we will go into. It is a something related to physics, ray optics. So as you can see this diagram, you can see the unpolarized incident light. Just see what water fell. Reflection was and this became horizontal polarized reflected light and vertically polarized reflected light. Okay, so this statement is also correct. The light from a blue sky is non-polarized because it is reflected from non-metallic particles in the atmosphere. It is also a correct statement, okay, because of the selective scattering, okay, like the mean scattering and the like. Selective, you have studied this, okay. There is a non-selective and the selective scattering, the mean and really scattering. So because of really scattering, this occurs. So there is a preferential scattering of some colors and not of some colors. So because of this, uh, the light is getting polarized because of scattering, okay, and it is being done by non-metallic. Particles that are present in the atmosphere. So this statement is also correct. So statement one, two, three are correct. But in the options they haven't given uh, this. So up challenge करना, देखना आप लोग. So either one, two or two, three. Okay, one is uh, one की तो probability काफी high है सही होना है. Okay, two, two and three. If two is correct, then three is also correct. Okay. so the option the correct option according to me would be 1 2 3 
okay in the satellite images next question 108 in the satellite images when other factors are same equal curvature of the earth is manifested by all the altitude centers sensors least curvature of the earth is manifested by highest altitude sensor least curvature of the earth is manifested by lowest altitude uh, sensor and highest curvature of the earth is manifested by lowest altitude sensor so which of the options is correct okay i couldn't be able to find any source for this okay so this is a point of confusion for me also so you can do one thing you can comment uh, about this in the comment box okay we will discuss this okay so i am leaving this question for now okay. so next question 109 nuclides heavier than 209 this month are produced by which of the following nucleus processes so there are various processes like the s process like the alpha process e process p process x process okay hydrogen burning helium burning so which of this will produce elements that are heavier than 209 bismuth okay we will see this graph up they go let's go and say i will enlarge it so up dekh sakte ho different different uh, processes are being shown that is because of the nuclear synthesis okay so what kya hai ki kaise kaise it is something like hamare jo lighter elements hai kaise kaise fusion kar kar ke kis tarike ke process se heavier elements banate hain theek hai bas aur kuch nahi hai isme so so aap dekh sakte ho ki ye wala part okay where trans basement elements which are which is having a, you can say atomic weight more than that of a basement okay which is basement 209 so kis pe ban raha hai you can see it is r process okay racket catcher it is californium 254 and it is the r process on fe56 then you can produce thorium and uranium which is the heaviest element in the predictable natural occurring yeah natural occurring so the correct option would be so R. So, rapid neutron capture and CNO cycle. Okay. Then we move up to next question one one zero. The chemical formula of which of the following minerals can be expressed as a combination of nepheline and quartz? So we know one is silica, which belongs. Okay. Second is a feldspathite. Up, दोनों का combination होगा, तो क्या बनेगा? एक feldspar ही बनेगा. Okay. So, if there are two end members, okay. अगर कुछ इसके बीच में आ रहा है, so this is a feldspathite. This is a quartz. So, जो भी combinations से बनेंगे, so because we are moving towards the more silica side, if we go from left to right. So, हमारा जो भी मेंबर होगा इंटरमीडिएट होगा इसके और हमेशा हम याद रखिएगा हमेशा क्वार्ट्स और फिल्स को थर्ड्स मिलके फिल्स पास करते हैं और हमारा जो इसमें आप देखो ये और ये फिल्स पार है और एंड पिगोराइट एंड एनी टाइम एनी टाइम इस जो लिक्विड सो दे आर नॉट द फिल्स पार्स ओके सो कंफ्यूजन एंड so answer having uh, answer ki jo probability hai wo aapki albite is more than not the place and you can also see this diagram okay is a sio2 nepheline silica phase diagram where it is also albite in between so hamara kya hai na al si or agar ye hamara aur mila ke kya dete hain This thing, the thing but albite. So remember this thing. So answer would be albite. One one one. Okay. So okay. So help me, Rosses. So help me, bro. 
this is helmyloresis sorry helmyloresis i'm also uh, like uh, familiar i haven't heard this term before this exam so i'm also <laughs> this term is new to me also so helmyloresis helmyloresis refers to a process okay so so as you can see i have taken this information from sandbox so where they have mentioned like how silica is added by various various methods okay silica ya to reverse ke through aayega or the i it will come through exchange of um, you can say uh, rocks exchange of rocks that are exchanges that are between between the rocks that are present on the ocean floor as on the as, as the and the sea water okay सो so, हमारा क्या है अब आप इसमें देखो ये डायग्राम पे दैट दे इज अ बसाल्ट ओके दिस इज दिस अ हाइड्रोथर्मल बैंड दिस इज अल्टीमेटली मेड अप ऑफ बसाल्ट ओनली सो यहां क्या हो रहा है एक्सचेंज ऑफ एलिमेंट एलिमेंट्स आर गोइंग ऑन सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस SiO2 इज बीइंग एडेड टू ओशन ओके दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ डायलेक्स सो यू कैन सी सिलिका इज एडेड टू द ओशंस थ्रू रिएक्शन ऑफ सी वाटर विद हॉट वोल्कैनिक रॉक्स अलोंग मिड ओशियन रिजेस एंड बाय लो टेम्परेचर अल्ट्रेशन ऑफ ओशनिक बसाल्स एंड डिट्राइटल सिलिकेट पार्टिकल्स ऑन द ओशन फॉर दिस इज कॉल्ड हेलमिलोसिस ओके सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फ्रॉम दिस फोर्स ओके सो वी विल रीज सो देखते हैं पहला वाला एडिशन ऑफ एलए टेक्स प्लेस इन मैग्मा ड्यूरिंग क्रिस्टल कंटेमिनेशन रिमूवल ऑफ एमजी फ्रॉम मैग्मा टेक्स प्लेस ड्यूरिंग क्रिस्टल सॉरी क्रिस्टल फैक्शनेशन नहीं है रिमूवल ऑफ सम आयंस ऑफ रिवर्स वाटर टेक्स प्लेस व्हेन द रिवर एंटर्स द सी नहीं है रिमूवल ऑफ यू टेक्स प्लेस ड्यूरिंग द मैग्मेटिक क्रिस्टलाइजेशन नहीं है सो इन ऑल द ऑल द ऑप्शंस दैट आर गिवन नन इज करेक्ट ओके सो देखना इस चीज के बारे में नेक्स्ट 112 द इनिशियल 87 SR upon 86 SR ratio of the earth has been estimated from which of the following? So I will tell you this is from a meteorite which is a Bobby basaltic a condite best initial we call it Bobby and you can see this diagram it is the from which everything is being fractionated so so आपका ये बाबी है उसके बाद आपका ये जो ऐसा रेशियोज हैं दैट विल बी डिफरेंट इन लाइक आफ्टर द सेपरेशन ऑफ क्रस्ट एंड मेंटल क्रस्ट का अलग आएगी वैल्यू द मेंटल वुड हैव अलग वैल्यू अगर इसको इन दोनों को अगर फ्रैक्शनेट नहीं हुए होते सो हाउ द ट्रैजेक्टरी वुड लुक लाइक ऑफ द बल्क अर्थ सो दिस इज द बल्क अर्थ ट्रैजेक्टरी सो बट हमसे पूछा गया किसका लेते हैं द बाबी ओके व्हिच इज अ ए कॉन्ट्राइट मीटराइट One one three. Which of the following is a chalcophile element? Ab, let me say, which is a chalcophile? You have to see this. So I have taken this thing. The information is there. Isn't here. Now you see here. All things are mentioned in this periodic table. So Goldsmith classification के बेसिस पे ये periodic table को इसका एक किया गया है. तो आप इस चार टाइप के होते हैं पता है? Lithophile ओके सिट्रोफाइल चलकोफाइल एंड एटमोफाइल अब अगर हम ऑक्सीजन देखते हैं सो इट इट इज शोइंग अ एटमोफाइल सॉरी नॉट एटमोफाइल लिथोफाइल बिकॉज़ हमारा मोस्टली रॉक्स में होता है सिलिकेट्स ठीक है लिथियम इट इज आल्सो अ अल्कली मेटल इट इज आल्सो अ लिथोफाइल ये भी लिथोफाइल इफ यू टेक अ नियोबियम नियोबियम कहाँ है भाई? देखें, नियोबियम इज़ एविंग अ अमिक नंबर और इस सॉरी दिस इज़ निकल एंड बी एंड बी इज़ वेयर हेयर 41 सो नियोबियम इज़ आल्सो शोइंग अ इंटरफाइल 
सिल्वर बट हमारा जो सिल्वर है यू कैन सी सिल्वर सो इट इज अ करेक्ट ऑप्शन शोइंग ऑप्शनिकलो सी Here I have given some information, and uh, this is the conversion from one centimeter per second square to one gal. But we do not report gal in millimeter per second square. It is a smaller unit compared to gal. Compared to the minus three gal, because we have to measure the variations, the delta G values that is being given. This is very minor. Okay, the variations are very minor when we are looking for any exploit, when we are doing any exploration survey. Okay. The variations are very minor. Uh, up to the order of 10 to the minus minus 3. It's a little variation. That's why value is being reported in milligal. We see that magnetic anomaly can be caused because caused by ferrotite and magnetite. So ferrotite is a iron sulfide and magnetite is a iron oxide. So obviously, yeah, it's good. Correct option is having. Gravity method of mineral exploration is based on density contrast. Yes, we have seen this thing. The density measure करते हैं. Okay, gravity data. Tenth meters can detect radioactivity in rocks. Yes, these are the rocks. These are the devices that are used to measure the what are the amount of alpha particles that are released, what are our delta, beta particles. Okay, so tenth meters. Oh, so this is correct. This is correct, but this is incorrect. So this is the not correct option. Now one one five. I will enlarge it first. Which of the following can be termed as significant geochemical anomaly in mineral exploration? So anomalous value के लिए first of all there uh, okay anomalous value के लिए आपके पास जो भी एनॉमली होनी चाहिए एनॉमली मींस एबनॉर्मल वैल्यूज ओके जरूरत से ज्यादा होनी चाहिए ओके okay? अब जरूरत से ज्यादा कब होगी बिकॉज देर इज अ प्रेजेंस ऑफ सम मिनरलाइजेशन दैट इज प्रेजेंट नियर बाय तो हम स्टेटमेंट्स पढ़ते हैं कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ इंडिकेटर एलिमेंट्स लोअर देन द लोकल थ्रेशोल्ड अब लोकल थ्रेशोल्ड ओके वी विल डिस्क्राइब वन थिंग तो दिस इज सम आप देख सकते हो एक कॉपर और है ओके दिस इज़ प्राइमरी गोइंग नियर अप्रोक्सिमेट टू द बॉडी ऑफ द कॉपर ओर तो इसी के बेसिस पे ये डेटा बनाया आप देखो जैसे जैसे कॉपर ओर की तरफ आया तो हमारे पास ये अनोमलस जोन है अनोमलस जोन विच इज अब त्रिशोल वैल्यू ये त्रिशोल वैल्यू क्या होगी विच इज यू कैन से वैल्यू दैट इज बींग शो बाय द नियर बाय रॉक्स Okay, which are not you can say, you can say it is a, ये जो particular area की highest background value है जो कि calculate की गई है किसी statistical way से. So this is the background value जो कि usually होती है किसी भी area में. Okay. The show क्या है? दिस इज द मैक्सिम बैकग्राउंड वैल्यू दोल्ड अगर अब हमको जो देखना है वो क्या है वैल्यू दैट इज बियॉन्ड आर थ्रशोल्ड उसको हम बोलते हैं अनोमलस अनोमलस डिफाइन करने का यही है कि वैल्यू दैट आर बियॉन्ड आर थ्रशोल्ड तो आप देखते हैं स्टेटमेंट पढ़ते हैं बाद में इट इज समथिंग रिलेटेड टू स्टेटिस्टिक्स रीड अबाउट इट लेटर सो कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ इंडिकेटर एलिमेंट लोअर देन दैट ऑफ अ लोकल थ्रशोल्ड गलत कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ इंडिकेटर एलिमेंट्स फॉलोइंग विद इन द रीजनल थ्रेशोल्ड गलत भी नहीं होना चाहिए ऊपर बियॉन्ड होना चाहिए कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ द इंडिकेटर एलिमेंट्स फॉलोइंग विद इन द लोकल थ्रेशोल्ड गलत कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ इंडिकेटर एलिमेंट हायर देन द लोकल थ्रेशोल्ड ओके लोकल इसलिए बोल रहे हैं ओके बिकॉज़ दिस थ्रेशोल्ड इज मेंटेन लोकली ओनली दिस इज नॉट थ्रू आउट 
the globe or any particular area of the earth does okay 116 miss list the hui hai okay and one side they have given you the mineral deposit on the side they have given you the method that is being used for the exploration of that mineral deposit ab hum ye dekhenge ki kaun se kiske liye use kiya to ye aap graph dekho theek hai sorry graph keh rahe hain ye aapka chart jo diya hua hai chart mein aap kya dekh rahe ho they have mentioned each and everything there is no point of so induced polarization ke liye hum log kya use karenge we use for large sulfide disseminated groups so hamara a ka 3 is fixed so we will fix our cd here for gravity for gravity which is fixed chromite okay just see sorry yeah this uh, chromite here seismic refraction is used for oil and gas petroleum this magnetic kimberlites but in but uh, aap dekh sakte ho here they haven't mentioned uh, kimberlites in the magnetic instead they have mentioned kimberlite within the gravity but i will tell you if you see the assemblage of the kimberlites so it contains some iron bearing phases that will show uh this magnetic character this because magnetic susceptibility is taken into kind of account for that aur uh, is cheez ko maine confirm karne ke liye net pe search kiya and i have found this paper where they have mentioned using magnetic methods for the identification of anomalies due to kimberlite fires in some locality in angola okay i don't know this so you can see there are research papers that are present on which people have used magnetic survey for the exploration of kimberlites which are primarily uh, hosts diamonds so our diamond knows karta hai us ko magnetic diamond is not magnetic so it just doesn't show the magnetic character. okay okay there are different different phases that are associated with diamonds diamonds are occurs like a xenocrysts they are not actual part of the mineral so kuch minerals honge iron bearing magnetite hoga so magnetite would be in some proportions in uh, kimberlites that's why we use magnetic method for the exploration of kimberlites so according to this okay the correct option would be a ka 3 okay b ka 4 c ka 2 d ka 3 the option consider the following statements regarding geophysical exploration for minerals passive methods involve measurement of natural existing fields yes okay it is similar to that of a passive remote sensing and active remote sensing in geophysics we also use this passive and active term okay when there is a natural occurring fields already present okay like uh, you can say gravity and magnetic these are two things where i have also taken this uh, information from aftab khan they mentioned the specific methods such as gravity and magnetics where the signal is generated entirely by the target itself like for example mai score acche se explain karta hu like when you do electrical survey you needs potential electrode as well as collect electrode okay for seismic survey you need something that will uh, hit the ground and that causes the release of the seismic waves especially for the exploration purpose there is a earthquake seismology part also but earthquake seismology earthquakes never being used for exploration purpose we use some artificial ways of creating that uh, you can say vibrations okay so the correct option would be this but this is not the correct option so one only okay consider the following statements regarding ore reserve calculation so okay there is a numerical they have provided you some information like uh, what is the uh, dimension of the ore body what is the density of the ore body and what is the, what, what is the you can say the <coughs> uh, what do you call it metal content okay metal content this is the thing but 0.258% okay so we have to calculate the what do we have to calculate tonnage okay tonnage what we do is is very basic question 
you just have to multiply volume by density by metal content. So if you take the volume, there's nothing but Yeah, we meet like public zone. Ultimately, uh, 1 by 4 is 0.25, 1 by 4. So if you calculate this, I've calculated this, and the answer is coming out to be around 20 metric tons. Very easy question. Direct multiplication is there. So it's the correct option. If you don't do this, if you don't uh, uh, multiply it with this, the answer is would be 7680. So it's co multiplied now. It's really like okay because. If you don't do it, the answer will be so. This this thing is one by fourth of this. Okay, so the correct option is D. One one nine. Which of the following mineral composition pairs is correctly matched? So A. Magnesite. So I will tell you, magnesite is a mineral of mag. Okay, sorry. MgCO three. MnCO3 now it is round of side. So MgCO3. Magnite is a hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. Molybdenite is a molybdenum sulfide, not sulfate, the sulfide. And it's a puja correctly matched concept. So these are not correctly matched, I will tell you. This is correctly matched because the magnetite is Fe3 but we present humko is tarike se karte hain hum usually because it is a we call it a power group of uh, mineral belonging to a normal spinels these are for normal spinels apart from that they are for inverse spinels so like um, franklite chromite okay spinel also mgal2o4 okay FECR204. So, this is a correct way of writing, which shows that this thing is in plus 3 state, while this thing, this particular site actually is in plus 2 state. I mentioned this here. So, the general formula is AB2X4. Okay, so magnetite is the correct option here. Then, the last one consider the following statements regarding porphyry copper deposits. Porphyry copper deposits are characterized by a large tonnage and high trade ores. Remember this thing that porphyry depot deposits occur in a disseminated manner. Bikrava. Especially in like uh, you can say it's the stock work like bodies. Okay. That is occurring proximal to the magnetic pluton. So you can see this some information regarding uh, porphyry copper deposits. Okay. Agar aap uh, so, so we will read this porphyry copper porphyry deposits are large deposits with between one uh, metric ton to 10 gigaton of ore in pervasively altered and veined rock in which ore minerals are uniformly disseminated at relatively they go up at relatively low grades they are not high grades at relative the grades are commonly less than one percent is very less Apart from other deposits like the steady form type, okay, it is very less. VMS type, it is very less. So, this question is wrong. Large hoi gai ni. Low hai hoi gai ni, sorry. Low. Low. Second, they generally consist of chalcopyrite, pyrite, molybdenite with concentric mineral zoning. Yes, concentric mineral zoning milti hanku. Okay, and the mineral zoning will defines you the paragenetic sequence. Okay, so you can say the important minerals are sulfides yeah. of copper. This, this, so they will get this. Are present here and the pyrite and chalcopyrite are very much associated to each other, so chalcopyrite would also be there. Sorry, pyrite would also be there. The chalcopyrite, then the third one 
Extensive alteration zone, uh, extensive alteration zones are characters of porphyry copper deposits. You can see, okay, there are different different alteration zones that you will get near to the magnetic photon, okay, and because of the alteration, like the uh, argilic, philic, propylitic, and um, advanced argilic. These are the alteration zones. So according to me, uh, second and third would be correct. Uh, so D would be the correct option and the first is incorrect. Okay. So here we are end with the solutions of the paper from question number 91 to 120. Okay. Any query, any other further discussion, you can comment in the comment box. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for present here.